Like it says, your old man's gone. You have a new man. Like, it's not a... <laughs> it's so good. It's so freaking good. And the deal is, it's like, if you've been put in Christ, like, this is the explanation that everyone has an understanding of in some level. Like, in God, there's no sin. Right? It, there's no demons in Christ. There's no sickness in Christ. There's no devils in Christ. There's no... So, like, the fact, even the fact of healing and stuff, if you want to argue about healing, it's like, if I'm in Christ, is, is Christ ever sick? Like, is Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father right now sick? No. Like, is Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father? Like, what is Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father? He's in glorified ecstasy, complete <laughs> dominion and authority. Everything. As He is, so are you in this world. There you go. Oh, my God, God. And, uh, oh my so, I don't even want to read much more of that, but, like, I just want to go to a couple things, because, uh, like, I really do believe the Lord has something He wants to say to everybody here tonight, and, like, <laughs> I've been, I've been, uh, you know, I'm, it's like there's kind of two kinds of preaching, there's one that just declares the message, and there's another kind where it's like the preacher's involved with the lives of the people that, that he knows, and he's looking and, and listening to the Holy Spirit about words that he wants to give, and, uh, I feel like the, the Holy Spirit is wanting to, like, I've just been, like, paying attention to what's happening in our atmosphere. And I love that you guys, like, <laughs> like when Brandon is here, he said, this is the most healthy community in America. That's what Brandon said. And, uh, woo! I received that. And I just declare that over you guys, like, you might feel, like, weak and, and whatever, but, first of all, you're in Christ, so you have everything. But second of all, you're believing, guys. Like, you guys are awesome. I, the love that I see displayed in your life is wonderful and it's miraculous. Um, but like I was talking with Janelle, Janelle the other day, like, we're, we're not even uh, operating in what Enoch operated 5,000 years ago. <laughs> ha! Enoch, it says, it says Enoch uh, walked with God and he was not, for the Lord took him. Right? Like, Enoch was translated up into heaven and, like, there's accounts that, that testify that Enoch was going back and forth and just interacting in the heavenlies and, like, he wrote a whole book about of stuff of the encounters that he had in heavens and in the heavens and stuff. And just like just the righteousness and stuff. So like I love what's happening among us, right? But like I want to become the most like I want to be walk in the fullness of Jesus, you know? I want to see full Jesus manifestation. Like I wanna see I want I really believe you guys, like I really believe that what Enoch walked in is fully accessible. Like, I really believe that what Jesus walked in is fully accessible to us as normal life. But where you guys go, everywhere you go, you're going to begin to just know the thoughts of the people around you. Isn't that what Jesus did? Jesus knew what was in a person. He could read their thoughts. Every one of you guys is going to be able to do that. Every one of you guys is going to be able to just, like, whatever, walk on water, the laws of nature will bow to you. That's a, That 444, dominion over creation, that, uh, like, show. We keep getting <laughs> dominion over creation, you guys. Like, to be able to... Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it died. In another place, oh he spoke goodness. to a tree and it came to life. Like, these things are easy. This is... If you have a small mustard seed, you can move mountains. Like, I don't... In that context, Jesus was... There's nothing figurative about what Jesus was talking about there. But even if it is figurative, you know, like, if a spiritual mountain like a city the spiritual climate of a city, you can speak to it with a word and shift it. Like, your, your friends and your relatives that are unsaved, like, forget, like, anything about predestination and all that stuff. God wants every one of them to be saved, and you have the authority in your mouth to declare angels to go and release revelation over their lives so that they will come into the knowledge of the glory. Everyone, I don't care who they are. I don't care how hardened they are. Je Jesus has authority. He said, I've lost none of those whom he gave me. Like, <laughs> Jesus is like, no, the devil didn't come and deceive any of my family. That's basically what Jesus is saying. You know? <laughs> like, he had authority over all that stuff. And, like, Jesus actually, you know, the, the father in, in the days of Jesus, Jesus was holding back. You know what I mean? Jesus could have actually taken